Okay, so uh, we are going to do a recording on how to create a music box today. So this is what we're going to teach you to create. So no, it is not a arcade box. Yeah, there's no Street Fighter on this. Fight! Instead, what we're going to do is that we're going to teach you how to use this box to control uh, audio sounds uh, which would hopefully help you in your music class. Yeah? So, without further ado, let's get cracking. Now, first of all, what you need is the box. Right? You'll need six of these buttons. You'll need this, a breadboard, a Arduino board. You'll need some spacers, screws, nuts. You'll need a bunch of black and red wires. You'll need a ultrasound sensor, uh, wire cutters, wire strippers, and uh, if you're missing any of these parts, ask Mr. Izahan or myself, and we'll provide it for you. Okay? So, step number one. Step number one is that we are going to solder these wires to these buttons. Alright, so let's go. Guys, so welcome back. So right now, we are going to solder the button leads uh, with the wires that you are provided with. So what we need to do right now is to use the wire cutter and to expose the cores inside the wire, right? So carefully take a wire cutter and snip off the sheet and expose the cores of the wire, right? So that's uh, the second step and do this for both wires and now we're gonna go to soldering. Alright guys, so we are going to go on to the soldering of the buttons. So what you need, you need to have two uh, wires and you cut the sheath out from those wires. So take one of the wires, it doesn't matter which uh, lead you attach it to. So you just take one wire, in this case I'm taking a red wire. The exposed uh, core, I thread it through the hole and I loop it. Okay, I loop it with my fingers so that it's semi-secure. Okay, I have now uh, looped the wires. Okay, the, the wire on one of the lead. Okay, right, two wires that are, uh, that are looped. So, what I need to use right now is a solder wire and the solder iron itself. So I will have to use this, this is extremely hot, please handle it with care and always look out for each other when handling dangerous equipment. So you take the solder and you heat it up onto the wires such that it melts. As you can see it's a delicate process but doable. and. Once you are done with one side, you continue and melt the solder on the other side. Okay. It takes a bit of skill and practice, but even if you don't have practice, uh, it is not so. Uh, it doesn't require you to be precise, so it's okay. So this is my work, and this is how it should look like. You have already soldered the buttons, right? So thread the wire through the hole that is pre-cut on the board and press and click it in. There you go, that's all. And this is how it looks like.
Alright guys, so once you are done with soldering and fixing up inside the box, now the next phase or the next step is to label the wires so that we know the wires which uh, is coming from which buttons. Okay, This is an important step so that we do not get confused or mixed up later on when we fix and wire up together with the Arduino. Okay, let's go. of the resistor is on the negative bus and the other goes to where? goes to cross it or just here? here. that's here right? give ample space in between the resistors so that you have more workspace later on Alright, and also take note that you please do leave a gap of two spacing, two row spacing uh, on the same column This is the last piece. So this is how it's gonna be. All right. So once you have done inserting the resistors, now we are going to place the breadboard onto the back of the board. All right. Take it off. And in this region here, we are gonna look into pasting the breadboard into this side. All right.
Now the next step is to fix the sensor, which is the ultrasonic sensor, and to fix the Arduino to the rest of the buttons. So here we go. Okay, first of all, ultrasonic sensor, we're gonna wire it up again. So there are four pins. Make sure all of the pins are connected to individual wires. So in this exercise or this activity, make sure you get yourself a female to male jumper wire. Okay, as you can see, I've already inserted the shrink uh, tube so that it allows me to heat shrink easier much later on. So I got myself a wire that has red, grey, red, grey, white and black. So the red will definitely be my VCC. So I'm going to put it this way. VCC, grey is um, trigger. Okay. White is echo. And lastly, black as ground. Okay, friends, of which wires goes to which pin on the Arduino? Button 1, pin 2. Button 2 to pin 4. Button 3 to pin 3, 4. To pin 9, 5. To pin 10, 6. To pin 11. And the ultrasonic sensor trigger and echo goes to 7 and 6 respectively. Alright? So we are gonna go ahead and fix the pins onto the Arduino. Let's go. Mm-hmm.